We're on an eco-friendly mission to build a frog hotel right in our backyard. Getting our weekend started off right, diving through dumpsters after free material, and interacting with amazing amphibians in this new Wild Kratz Creature Hero project. With just a few simple items, a watertight container, PVC pipes of varying sizes, and some river rock or gravel, we're transforming discarded waste we found in dumpsters, destined for landfills, into habitat havens for our amphibian neighbors. A frog hotel is simply supplemental habitat in your yard, designed to provide shelter and an aquatic respite for frogs in urban environments. Looking for some free material for our frog hotel. Oh, is it too big? Whoa. Too big. We have a lead that there might be some pipe in here. Hunter's checking it out. Yeah, those are bigger than we want, huh? Those are too big. All right, let's keep on going. And as we patch together our frog hotel, one piece of junk at a time, we couldn't help but marvel at the potential of secondhand items. It's a reminder that small acts of recycling and repurposing can make a big difference in our world. In fact, did you know that each year, approximately 292.4 million tons of municipal solid waste ends up in landfills across the United States? That's nearly 2,000 blue whales worth of waste. Only about 50% of this material was recycled or composted, but more than 146 million tons were landfilled. That's wild. We built our frog hotel, starting by cutting PVC pipes of differing diameters to various lengths. We ensured the edges were smooth by scraping them down, removing any PVC burrs. Next, we arranged the PVC pipes inside the watertight container, varying their heights and positions to create a diversity of hiding spots for the frogs. As we positioned the pipes, we worked together as a team to help hold them upright, while we simultaneously added river rock and gravel to the base of the container. This helped stabilize the pipes, and kept them in place. Once the pipes were secured, we filled the container with water until it reached just below the surface of the rock layer. Pro tip, if you decide to make your own frog hotel, here's a tip. Rinse the river rock or gravel thoroughly by filling the container and pouring out the water a few times. This will help remove any debris or dirt, ensuring a clean and safe environment for the frogs. And now with our frog hotel complete, it was time to take a break. Welcoming our amphibian guests and seeing who showed up. We have a few wetland preserves in our area and hear frogs in our backyard from late winter through early spring. So I was hopeful that we'd soon have a few frogs arriving to check out our hotel. But before finding out who showed up, if you're getting any value from this information, please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I try my best to add value to these videos using science-based and back content. This simple action on your part is very much appreciated and will go a long way in helping me continue to provide accurate and quality content for you. So as a thanks for doing this, Here's a picture of one of my favorite amphibians. And sure enough, Pacific Chorus Frogs were the first to book the rooms in our frog hotel. The Pacific Chorus Frog, scientifically known as Pseudochrys frigella, is a small amphibian species native to the western United States and southwestern Canada. Typically measuring around 1 to 2 inches in length, they are identifiable by their distinct dark mass-like pattern across their eyes and their vibrant green, brown, or gray coloration. Pacific chorus frogs are highly adaptable, inhabiting a range of environments, including forests, grasslands, wetlands, and urban areas. They are primarily nocturnal and are known for their melodious calls during the breeding season, which can be heard from ponds, marshes, and other aquatic habitats where they breed. As key members of their ecosystems, they serve as both predators and prey, contributing to the balance of their respective food webs. Despite their adaptability, Habitat loss and fragmentation poses significant threats to their population. Efforts to conserve and restore their habitats are underway to ensure the continued survival of this charismatic species. Interestingly, Pacific chorus frogs exhibit remarkable variations in their coloration and pattering across different populations, reflecting their ability to adapt to diverse environments. In the end, this project wasn't about just building a frog hotel. It was about fostering a deeper connection with nature and teaching our kids the importance of sustainability 
all while having fun locally, climbing through dumpsters, harvesting junk, and playing with frogs. Remember, even small actions can make big impacts. Today it was building a frog hotel. Tomorrow it might be a... And if you like this video, make sure to watch this next adventure with the Backyard Biologist Buddies.